Hey everybody, this is Matt Doom Master with Alpha Game Reviews coming to you with some first look at the Destiny Alpha. This is the first level, we're just going to be going through it real quick. Taking a look at the beautiful graphics. Uh, this level apparently changes between night and day cycles uh, each time you play it because I've played this on night cycle before. And it looks even better in the day, so it's pretty impressive. Kind of first few enemies there, took them out pretty quickly. Not a whole lot to say about them, but you might notice that the combat system is a little bit... It's definitely different from Halo. It definitely is not... You know, if you were you know, thinking maybe they just want to remake Halo... The Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships, off to build cities beyond. And now the Fallen, just picking its bones. That guy is basically a little robot fellow that helps you out and can unlock doors for you and etc. Anyway, like I was saying, the the gameplay is not as much a copy as Halo as you might have expected, considering that it is from Bungie, and they are of course famous for the Halo series. Uh, the, it's more reminiscent of Borderlands really than anything else. Up the hill, the building with the radar, that's the Skywatch. Although you do still have the shields, of course. That is definitely part of this game. You don't normally see them in your UI, but once you actually get hit, they start to show up at the top, a little white bar. You can also notice, every time I kill an enemy here, I'm getting some experience. Because this is a level-based game. I'm not sure what the cap is, but I do know that there are abilities and etc. which are unlocked as you play through it. Basic weapon I have here is some sort of rifle, and it's pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's the most amazing weapon I've ever used, but I, I tell you, it is pretty accurate uh, when you are zooming in, and I appreciate that. And like a lot of other shooters, if you go for the headshots, you get um, bonus damage, and that's definitely a big part of this. Oh, what are those assholes doing over here? Let's go kill them. Aha! Of course, if you're not doing a very good job of hitting the head, you don't do that much damage. Graphically, like I said, this game is very impressive, and it's not just the the distance train that's very impressive. If you look at you know the the, the texture quality of everything that's closer in, um, that also is very very good for a console release. I'm sure that whenever this game gets sent to the PC, which you know the PC is not a priority for Bungie at this time, but I'm sure it will eventually happen. It'll probably look better there, but. Um, for a console game, you know, this is this is one of the first console games that I've played on an extra gen console where there wasn't really an indication that there was um, some concessions made for some other platform. You know, Killzone Shadowfall was, which came out at launch for the PS4, was another really excellent looking game. But, you know, otherwise, there's actually been a surprising lack of games that really looks like they took advantage of the hardware. What we got here is a captain, sort of an elite enemy. You can see that he's got a little bit of an aura, that means he has a shield. As long as that shield's up, it can actually deal damage to his health. But the shields for the enemy do recharge. I just like to do for you. Oh, how did he get over there? I can see And he went the other direction, okay. We're in. This was one of Skywatch's old array stations, a link to the lunar colonies. Well, the game takes a little bit of a weird turn towards the survival Dead horror end. here. Fallen sealed this gate. I can get it open. Let's just look at the lighting effects and the texture on that. That's pretty good. 
It's pretty fucking good. And you know what, this is probably, I'm recording on the PS4 of course, so this is probably not going to come out ever as well as it actually the fall looks really didn't want in real to life. But just, just take my word for it, this is a very nice looking game. is this? Lots of motion ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, and you need both, buddy. It can't be. It's the highest. Hive guys are real fun to pitch with when you get up to But once you give them a few headshots, they go down just like anyone else. There's a wizard here. You see something floating in the air, you have to kill it. It's a wizard! A wizard did it! Yeah, fuck you, buddy. One thing I will say that, so far, you know, making comparisons to Halo, I'm not really seeing the uh, AI quality of being quite up to the level, you know, that the Halo level reputation, but mm, that may be somewhat intentional considering it's a different kind of game, you know, it doesn't, it's not really as much about the pure tactical gameplay. Levels and stats and upgrade abilities are very much a part of your effectiveness in this title. Ah, fuck you, wizard! This guy's a pretty, pretty badass. So he's gonna take a little while to get down. And I would really like to clear out um, this final collide before I get tied down with the wizard. Come on. Two more. So you can see he's got shields too. He's got that orange aura around him. And as long as he's got those shields. Oh, at least he's got as long as he's got those shields, I won't be able to kill him. And my attacks are kind of useless because you know he's just going to regenerate through the damage. Switch over to the shotgun. Let's see more guys over here. Yeah, there is one more guy over there at least. Looks like his shields are down, actually. But, unfortunately, I can't really take advantage of that right now. He's really bad down. Ugh, got stuck down the train. Yeah, oh, his shield just went back up again. Ah! I hope that's the last of the Ecolite. Once I get the Ecolite now, it's going to be a lot easier to focus on this one. Oh. 
Where do they keep coming from? I don't like to be up close to them because there's like a poison. You see that like black cloud? Yeah, that actually is very bad. It takes some poison damage to you and slows you down. And you can't see what the hell you're doing, so. Uh, it looks like a shield went down right now. Once his shield is down, I can't headshot him. And get stuck with him down too quickly. Where did he go? Ooh, that's getting a little risky there. I'd like to finish him off, but... He's, he's attacks do a lot of damage. I see his shields are back up. I think I got him. There we go. And that is the first level of Destiny. Uh, it's actually pretty fucking exciting, I gotta say. I thought we had them contained there. The darkness could be a lot As far as tutorials go. So, I want to have some more gameplay footage and some character creation. But for now, this is Matt Doom Master with Alpha Game Reviews, signing off.